Hello everyone and welcome to the seventh part of this Daniel Smith series. Um, in today's video we'll be taking a look at the second half of the earth colours. So first up is Minnesota Pipestone. Uh, this is a Primatek paint and Daniel Smith's website says it's made from genuine catlinite. Yeah, this one wasn't very easy to re-wet. Yeah, it seems a bit weak too. The granulation is nice though. And next is Sedona Genuine. And this is another Primatech and it's made from natural iron oxides. Yeah, I like this kind of warm earth red. Again, the granulation's great. Next is Italian Venetian Red. And this is made from PR101. Yeah, again, this one was quite difficult to re-wet. Yeah, a little disappointing this one. It seems really weak. And next we have English Red Earth, which is again made from PR101. I think this one's better than the Italian Venetian Red before it, but still seems a bit weak. I don't know, is that normal for these two paints? And next we have Quinacridone Burnt Scarlet, and it's made from PR206. Yeah, this is such a beautiful paint. Um, I've heard that PR206 has been discontinued though, so I wonder what Daniel Smith will replace it with. And next we have Perylene Maroon, and it's made from PR179. Yeah, this is a great Perylene Maroon. Yeah, really, really strong. And next we have Deep Scarlet. And it's made from PR175. I don't think I ever tried this pigment before. Yeah, it's really very nice. I wonder if this can replace the PR206. Next up is Naphthamide Maroon. And it's made from PR171. Yeah, this one's another new pigment to me. It's a nice colour, but I'm not sure I'd call it a maroon. It's much too violet. Next we have Lunar Red Rock, and it's made from PR101. I was expecting that this one would be heavily granulated, and yeah, it doesn't disappoint. Yeah, I really love this paint. And finally on the top row we have Pymontite Genuine. And this is another Primatech paint. I do actually really like this colour. 
Yeah, it's beautiful granulation. Now onto the second row with Tiger's Eye Genuine. And this is another Primatech paint, so no other pigment information. Yeah, this is another one that seems really weak. I'll keep scrubbing at it to see if I can pick up more paint. Not very keen on this one. Yeah, that's the best I can do, I think. And next we have Burnt Tiger's Eye Genuine, which is another Primatech paint. I think this one looks much nicer than the previous one. It was a bit easier to rewet as well. I mean, both these tiger's eyes have very nice granulation. Uh, next is Hematite Genuine, which is yet another Primatech paint. Yeah, I quite like this one. It's um, a nice, cool, granulating black-gray. And next we have German Greenish Raw Umber. And it's made from PBR7. I don't usually like greenish raw umbers, but yeah, this one's okay. And the granulation's quite nice too. And next is Hematite Violet Genuine. And this is another Primatech. I don't really think this one looks like a violet. Um, it has more of a pinkish undertone with a bit of black granulation. I actually quite like it. And next is Mummy Bauxite, which is another Primatech paint made from natural iron oxides. Yeah, I do like this one. It's a really nice granulating reddish brown. Yeah, really nice. And next is permanent brown. And this is made from PBR25. I've tried this pigment now in a few brands and I've really liked it. Though I do think this is probably the strongest version I've tried. And next up is Raw Umber Violet. It's made from PBR7 and PV19. Yeah, this is an interesting color. Um, are there any other brands that make a PBR7 and PV19 mix? I can't think of any. And next we have Transparent Brown Oxide. And it's made from PR101. I've tried this paint before and I really enjoyed using it. 
Yeah, it's just an excellent paint. And next we have transparent red oxide, which is also PR101. Yeah, just like the brown before it, this is a really excellent paint. Yeah, I just love how vibrant it is. The granulation is great too. Okay, now onto the third row with Fired Gold Ochre. Made from PR102. Yeah, again, this one's difficult to re wet and it's kind of weak. Yeah, not all that interesting in this one. And next we have Burnt Sienna Light. It's made from PR101 and PO48. Yeah, looks like a really good color to me. Um, I wonder if it acts the same in mixes as a burnt sienna. And next we have Enviro Friendly Red Iron Oxide. And it's made from PBR6. Yeah, another very good paint. Um, yeah, it's a great earth brown. As I said in the last video, you can find out more information about what makes this paint enviro friendly over on the Daniel Smith website. And next we have Burnt Sienna, and it's made from PBR7. Yeah, looks like a great burnt sienna to me. Not too brown. Uh, next is English Red Ochre, and it's made from PR101. Yeah, I like this one too. I think Daniel Smith has a few nice burnt sienna options. Next we have Burnt Umber, and it's made from PBR7. Yeah, really nice Burnt Umber. Kind of has a bit of a glow to it, and yeah, great granulation as well. Next we have Enviro Friendly Brown Iron Oxide, and it's made from PBR6. Yeah, so this one's a bit cooler than the Burnt Umber. I'm quite impressed with Daniel Smith's Enviro Friendly paints. The red, yellow, and brown are all really, really nice. Next we have Raw Umber. And it's made from PBR7. Now I prefer my raw umbers to be a bit more on the yellow side, so this one isn't really for me. Uh, I do know a lot of people like this one though. And then we have sepia, and it's made from a mix of PBR7 and PBK9. Yeah, a good granulating sepia. And 
finally we have Cichlorite Genuine, which is another Prima Tech, so no other pigment info. Yeah, another good heavily granulating brown. Okay, so that's all of them painted out, and here they are in daylight when completely dry. So what are your views on Daniel Smith's range of Earths? Um, there's certainly a lot of them. I've got to say, I'm, I'm very impressed with them. I mean, there's some really great paints over these two videos, and the granulation, especially in some of the Primatech paints, is just really, really beautiful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye bye.